Hi Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. It's been about a year and a half since I've stamped here in front of the camera. So I'm so excited to be back showing you fun techniques with our stamping. I'm going to show you how to take one 12 by 12 piece of paper, DSP, and go ahead and make six cards with it. While I was on my mission, I went ahead and did a lot of card making for birthday cards, thank you cards, different for different events and different things. But I only had a small amount of product, so I had to make it really stretch. So I'm going to show you with the Beauty of the Earth paper here. And I love this paper because it can be masculine or feminine. You could use it for both. And just depending how you turn on what side you turn it on. So it's really a good paper. So imagine having 12 sheets of paper and having times six, you get that many cards. So these are the two patterns that I'm using for the cards. So first you're gonna go ahead and cut five and a quarter. So you wanna look at the direction of how the paper goes. I want this to be the top. So I'm going to cut two, two pieces of five and a quarter, cut that, and I'm going to cut another five and a quarter, and then I'll take the leftover piece and just set it aside. You can use that for embellishments later. I'm going to go ahead and put these two together, and I'm going to cut three times three inches. So three inches here, so that's two pieces, and three inches again, and then two more pieces, three inches. And then with the rest, I'm going to cut one inch, so that will give me six one inch pieces. I want to make sure I get this together. I'm actually going to do it backwards, so I'm going to do it over here because I can have more control over that one inch piece. So one inch, then because I'm going to cut the same in the middle, I want to make sure it stays. Okay, I've got all those pieces. I have this for embellishments if I want to use it. Okay, so very simple card. I made a lot of masculine cards. And so this is what I did, was I took the three inch piece like so, and then I took the one inch piece and turned it over and went ahead and put that together. Okay, so I'm gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm just gonna turn this over and go ahead and start with um, just on the corners. And you'll wanna leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around and same thing with this and I'm just gonna use the opposite you can decide I've done it both ways where I've gone one way with three of the cards and then another way with the other three cards so it gives you a variety so then you've got the wood tone right there okay so that's a card and I made a lot of birthday cards so it's super simple all I would do was just stamp a saying and depending on if I had the stamp pad in the color if I was able to do it that way if I didn't I would use basic black and I'm just using a punch here a lot of times I would just cut things in um, a rectangle so anyway hope your birthday is filled with all the best so I would pop that up because you can't live without dimensionals. I don't know about me, I just really love dimensionals. And then usually I would go ahead and put maybe a, um, oh, a little bow or something like that with it, or just use some other accent. So I'm gonna hope your birthday is filled with the best things. And then let me go ahead and put this on too just some linen thread in a knot make a tie and it's super simple but it's a super simple card and it make because of the paper you're using it makes it masculine let me show you some other paper that I did 
here's three that are this way. The same paper, just use the opposite way. Just like that. Here's one more of this awesome paper, the Beauty of the Earth paper, and I'm just going to show you on this one the same you just really just put it right there and this. Now I want to show you something that you can do with these extra pieces. You can mix and match your extra pieces with different things. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and use some of this like as a ribbon or something like that. So I'm going to leave this to the side and I'm going to go ahead and, cu and cut it again, five and a quarter. And I just want a little bit, so a quarter of an inch. Kind of like the size of a ribbon. If you want to go ahead and add a different step to it, you can go ahead and add this right here, and it gives more interest. Or you can put it even closer, and it gives a different interest there. But you've got those options. You could also take this piece and put it on the inside of your card to make it work. But it's very super simple cards, so you can decide how you want it to look. Hopefully this has helped you with how to get the most out of your DSP and just doing some simple cards. See you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.